Uh, I have a beer, so I'm gonna pop it open. I feel like I'm gonna need it this stream. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of delaying stuff. <laughs> I'm kind of delaying continuing with the main story just a little bit because I'm a, I'm a little scared about where this uh, I'm gonna get upset <laughs> and I, I I feel it I just feel it which is why which is why I brought a beer out even though I don't usually drink beer <sighs> okay I'm dreading what's gonna happen <laughs> but I have to uh, I, I gotta I, I have to I have to do it. <laughs> Same man. Enter. Mm. Thank you for coming. Sure. No problem. Have a seat if you would. In that detective's report, Saba Sensei was. Well, it said you were the one who found her body. That's right. You had been concerned for Saba Sensei's safety before the incident. You're able to see things I can't. You have something of a gift for that, Yakime san. I wish I could agree with that. But I'm overlooking details. I'm letting too much slip away. And quite frankly, there's still a lot that I haven't figured out yet either. Like what? May I have an example? There's this local handyman. Kawana is the name he goes by in the city. Right before it happened, I ran into him in front of Sawa Sensei's apartment. There's no way it was a coincidence. So, you think he could be the culprit? Actually, I don't think so. I don't, I don't yeah, know. I don't think so. That said, Kawana has something to do with. He's all definitely this. related in Sawa some way. Got caught up in his mess. He's probably related to Sawa Sensei in some Kawana way. Is just an alias he uses. It might be from the same class as Sawa Sensei and Mamiya. And it's weird, but they've been looking for this punk named Kawai, and Kawai is connected to it too. Sawa Sensei went to the same school as him 13 years ago. Actually, can I check people's ages? Is there like a? Your investigation has gone well beyond what I can comprehend, and it's left me in the dust. Uh, but I just can't do this anymore. Between my own faculty and the press, I'm being bombarded. I'm afraid it's just too much for me to bear. I'm sorry to hear that. But you know what? What's been the hardest part? Is feeling so powerless as all these young people have their lives cut short. Miku Shibukun being discovered dead. Ehara-san committing murder on video. And now poor Sawa Sensei's tragedy too. Don't forget Toshiro-kun. I feel in my heart that these incidents are related. That somewhere below the surface all these misfortunes are connected to the same root. Toshiro suicide? Then I suppose it's only a matter of digging down deep enough. Though I couldn't begin to imagine how much soil would have to be turned to uproot it. But one thing. Yakimi-san, if you would, could I ask that you continue to keep digging until you get to the bottom? Of course. That's the plan, man. Sawa-sensei deserves to have her chance at justice. A wonderful teacher like her. Why? She had her whole future to look forward to, the poor woman. And now this happens. It's just not right. As it stands, I still need to collect more evidence. So you know, I can't make any promises just yet. I could hit a dead end. But no matter what anyone does, no matter who tries to stop me, I'm gonna keep digging. You better, bitch. few days have felt like a never-ending nightmare. What a breath of fresh air. And I appreciate the good news. Of course. I'm glad we could talk, Chairman. And now, Sawa Sensei's old class is going to be my next worry. I'm sure you're well aware that that class has some students with a pension for causing trouble. Yeah, Matsui. We may need to prevent a relapse for those bullies you stopped. 
Are you referring to Kodasan then? Hmm. I understand. While I'm working on campus, I'll keep an eye on. It's been a while since we uh, seen that class, though. Say, where is Kwana? There's Kwana. Forty-three years old, so not the same graduating class, but forty-three. That you know, would make him thirteen years older than Sawa Sensei. He must be like. I feel like he's connected to the class that Sawa Sensei was part of. Forty-three years old. That would make him. Saw so Sensei would be 18, that would make him 31? 31. Maybe he was- maybe he was the teacher? The teacher who was like, don't over- who's like, don't overdo it in regards to the bullying, maybe? I can sort of see Kiwana being like that. Your continued support is appreciated, Yagami-san. If there's anything at all I can do, please don't hesitate to ask. We must seek justice for Sawa Sensei. Then why would they why would RK want Why would RK want Kowana as the teacher? Because of his relation to Kowai, maybe? I'm still I'm not quite sure what RK is trying to do here. Check class 2 2 before I leave campus, alright. I don't think I don't think the bully the bully kids are like so heartless to uh pull shit right now. Yagami son, what do you want? You know, things have been really weird around here ever since you showed up. It was it's not my fault. Hiroshiba sensei's body. Now Sawa Sensei winds up getting murdered. It's not my fault. They're not <laughs> the angel of death or something. Is that it? It's not a coincidence, but I'm not thinking that. Everyone's so damn gloomy. It sucks. Hey. Sawa Sensei was popular with all the boys. But her classes were super easy, and honestly pretty boring. You won't catch me moping around crying about it like all these losers. Ha ha! Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Hypocrites. You assholes were practically celebrating what happened to Miko Shiba Sensei. Miko Shiba Sensei was a son of a bitch. Of yeah? Fuck off, you little twerp! I'll also take the blame for punching her in the What do you want, Coda? Yagami-san, well, we're fine. There's a lot we don't understand, so we just feel a bit vulnerable right now. But, um, well, if you learn more about Sawa-sensei, could you please keep us in the loop, too? Oh, please, bitch! What's with this goody two shit? Show you show some empathy. Oh my god. <laughs> Even Matsu is like, like what I the said, fuck? I'm a detective, and I'm looking into Hiro Mikoshiba's murder. That's why I was talking to Sawa Sensei. It's highly likely she got wrapped up in that case. So make no mistake, I'm going to find the truth about what happened to them both. <laughs> Kinda pointless. The internet's already branded Miko Shiba Sensei as the villain in all this. Everyone says he had it coming since he used to be a bully himself. Maybe learn from his example. <laughs> anyway, if you're interested in hearing my report, just drop me a line. Maybe seeing my work might put things into perspective for you. <laughs> Detective my ass. Just get out of my face! Wow. <laughs> The girl was just like so fading in and out. She was really into Mikoshiba Sensei. They got along great, chatted all the time. Then all of a sudden, he just disappeared. She thought they had a connection, but turns out it was only one way. Uh, as it should be. <laughs> so pissed off. Keeps driving herself over the edge because she can't even reach the brakes. 
I'm not saying all this because I expect you to forgive us. The fact that you recognize you did some awful things is a step in the right direction, at least. You're doing much better than she is right now. I'm sorry, Coda. For everything we did to you. Character development, thank you. If only your, uh, friend should do the same. Hit him. Uh <laughs> I honestly thought she was about to hit him. You can't expect her to ever forgive you. If anything, <laughs> expect that she never will. I know. That said, good job apologizing. It's a good first step. Thanks. Should be one way, it should be no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> One, probably the one good thing about Mikashiba is that he did not take advantage of a student's crush, crush on him. <laughs> um, I have no idea what's, <laughs> where the story is going to go from here. I guess we need to find Kawana or something. God, why did I get a beer? I should have gotten wine. Beer tastes awful, okay? Beer just tastes more alcoholic than it is. <laughs> Than it actually is. Should head back to Yokohama 99 so we can hammer out our strategy. Alright. Probably shouldn't drink too much, maybe. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Talk. Good to see you, Yagamishi. How'd things go at school? Shitty. The chairman told the entire student body about Sawa Sensei at an assembly. Everyone's pretty shaken up. Yeah. I can't even imagine. Um, now I'll talk to Sukumo, I okay? The I took from her room yesterday, the Sukumo. Why don't you check it out later, Yagami-san? Why not check it out now? Oh, I still can't wrap my head around what I saw last night. We have to avenge Sawa-sensei. Right, Tak? Um, actually, it's been a while since I pet this cat. <laughs> Thank you. Pretty allowance. We've been waiting for you, Yagamishi. Let's plan our next moves. Are you ready? Uh, sure. I don't have anything else to do other than Paradise VR, so... And I guess also at a girl's bar, but... Let's just stick with the main story for a second. <laughs> While in a meeting yesterday, Sawa-sensei received a call that her apartment was broken into, prompting her to go home. Judging from the events that followed, RK must have called her using the apartment manager's name. And that's how they got to Sawa Sensei. Really? When did she have like RK wasn't after Sawa Sensei. Her actual They're manager's actually, like phone oh, number they... though? Yeah. To be like, why are you calling me from a different Sawa number? <laughs> I think Sawa Sensei was used to lure Kawana out. Why would Sawa Sensei be bait to draw out Kawana? How the hell are those two connected? That too, but why is RK even after Kawana san? Thugs from Kamurocho want a handyman in Ichincho? Right. There's still a lot we don't know. Please, I just want to check... Before RK does and get some answers out. I want to take the yearbook. I want to Kawana's check my uh, theory. Apparently it's Kitakata. RK didn't seem to be familiar with the name Kuwana. Kitakata? The truth is, we don't know anything about Kuwana. All we know is that he's a handyman in Ichincho. I haven't been able to contact Kuwana-san since yesterday. But I left a message asking him to reply. Because he's gone Where's off the, the map. Business? He ran his whole operation from a cell phone. Not even his business card lists and address. Damn. Oh yeah, Kaito-san. Didn't you call up all the places we went drinking? Did you find out where he lives? Yep. Just found out. Oh. Looks like Kuana lives in some kind of prefab shack off West Central Street. This sounds like pretty shitty conditions for a guy charging up the ass for his time. Well, if we know that much, we might as well go take a look. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Just probably doesn't want to be found for whatever reason. <laughs> you never slow down, Yagamishi. So what's with your glasses? Damn. Can we please check the yearbook, though? Please. <laughs> Let's hit it. I'll stay here. 
Don't want anyone coming in and breaking Tsukubakun's fingers again. Finding Kawana-san is in your hands for now. My own style? No yearbook for you. Please. I feel I just want to check to see if Kawana is in the yearbook somehow. Yagamishi, I know it's getting more complicated by the minute, but I'm certain Kawana-san holds all the answers. Just gotta look for a guy who looks like him, or just has the name Kitakata. Huh? Hello? Look who it is. Stop by for a visit, buddy. Your books cost 20. Pay up first? My yearbook was like... How much was my yearbook? My yearbook was a stupid... My yearbook was like 80 bucks or something. My high school yearbook, which is why I didn't get one. <laughs> Cat? Who's a good boy? That's a good kitty. Fireproof protector. Where'd you come from? Are you like the the culmination of all the cats I've been befriending? I guess. I like mentioned this before because uh, I don't remember what, quite what we were t <laughs> like what we were talking about, but Can't Stop One Stop was talking about uh, our graduating class sizes. I had like a really big graduating class. My graduating because I went to like one of the biggest schools in our district. Make the yearbook and edit them. I don't control the price. Yeah. Well, my graduating class was like... At a grad... The graduating class for my school was like 400... Like 450 something? It was a big number. Our graduation ceremony was very long. They have their... All, of, all the schools in our district do graduation at like the same... At the same venue. Same convention center. Oops. Um, <laughs> I didn't want to get too close. Is this place? So they always make sure that our school went yeah. last, because yes. ours is just so big. <laughs> Guess it's kind of fitting for an unlicensed handyman. Is it upstairs or downstairs? I think it's upstairs, actually. Uh, I knew there was a, a, a reason for this area. Okay. What is it? Oh? The door's been forced open. Maybe with a crowbar or something. If anyone was in here before us, it had to have been RK. Aside from us, they're the only ones after him. That's one way to force the door open, okay. Wow, those particle call effects. Okay. That means they're already a few steps ahead of us. RK's got the numbers behind him. We can't beat him to the punch every time. I don't think Kawan has been back since last night. He probably caught on that he's a wanted man. He might not even be in Ijin Cho anymore. Then what do we do here? His real name's supposedly Kitakata. I want to know who he really is and why he used a fake name. Can't like Sukumo did what he did what to find me and just like look at the clues that point to his true identity. City security cameras. <laughs> Took the words See where right he went. Kaito -san. Try to any hope fleet or something left here. Suspicious. Dude drinks a lot. That's long before RK ever showed up. Have drunk will travel. Is that usual handyman work? Ties to the underground. But I get the feeling this kind of work was his bread and butter. Collecting junk, walking pets, fixing pipes, taking any odd job that comes his way. Not so different from us. A handyman, a detective, it's two sides of the same coin. Uh huh. Other words, probably I'm just a fixer. Um, let's look at the door. I guess I can't look at the door. Um, what? Manga magazine scattered all over the place, sort of indicative of his personality. What's he reading, though? What the That's a lot of trash. Suspicious. That's a lot of Leftover dirty plates. Would it have killed him to clean up a bit? I'm starting to think this place was a dump even before it got ransacked. This guy is just kind of a mess, huh? Oh, what's this? A heater? Stove that matches his... <clears throat> This office interior surprisingly well, nothing special about it. Alright. It's probably- Suspicious. wait, uh, why does he have a copier? 
Huge printer and another tool to handyman trade. Okay. I wish I had a, I wish I had a printer that big. The printer is like on its last legs. <laughs> Are these Kiwanis? I don't think so. Pretty sure he's been vaping. Yeah. Maybe he craved the real deal every now and then. Yeah. People do smoke both depending on the situation. I like that he's vapes is just kind of funny to me. There's a mouse here too. There was a laptop here. RK must have taken it. There's probably a treasure trove of info on it. Or maybe he like took it before he left. And RK's got anything of value out of this place already. Come on, don't be emo. Hey. An ashtray. Huh. That's weird. It's very empty. What? With all the gross garbage in here, this ashtray is oddly empty. Doesn't smoke? I think so. Suspicious. I mean, yeah, it's clean and all, but so what? Could just be freshly empty. Except it hasn't been washed or even used in a while. See the layer of dust on it? They have like a guest over? You think a dusty ashtray is gonna get us Kuana's identity? Maybe. Or maybe it's nothing. Anything suspicious worth investigating? Anything else here? Too late. What else can we? Where else can we go to learn more about no, Kuana? Up, we don't have enough on Kuana to go after him. You sure you want to go back empty-handed? I feel like I checked everything worth looking at. I didn't check the entire room Maybe yet, though. Something you looked at already. Besides, where else are we gonna find dirt on Kuana if we leave? Is there anything more to something I looked at already? Hmm. Probably the ashtray. Or probably the cigarettes again. They're like an int if the cigarettes are like an unusual brand, then maybe. Try roll. If you find it, if I examine the bottom of the ashtray, you'll find an F on it. Yeah, 15. Hmm. F to pay respects. Came off the shelf when it came down, likely from RK ransacking this place. What a hell of a mess in here. But they had no clue what they were doing. Looks like they just wanted to trash the place. Yep, pretty much screams RK. Nothing more than a bunch of punks. Nice TV though. Got any game systems? Nope, just uh. That looks like a VHS player. <laughs> I'm not just a VHS or just a regular old DVD player. Can I raid your fridge? Probably not. Hey. Wait, oh wait. What is this? An unfinished cup of sake. Why do you leave so much in there? Probably wouldn't have splattered everywhere during the ransacking if you just finished it. Doc, the floor is still soaked over here. It hasn't dried yet? And it hasn't been long since that sake got knocked over. Yeah. If they were the ones here before us, then we must have barely missed them. Hey, about these sinks. These cigarettes. There's something about them. Kawana usually smokes e-cigarettes. The ashtray looks virtually unused. A brand are they? I don't think Kawana's smoking these cigarettes. Probably had a guest you over. Keep what you don't smoke. See, we gotta be more thorough. Uh huh. Central. Are they open? Wait. Uh. Suspicious. <laughs> What the? It, the controls are a little funky. Is it hey, open? Look at this lighter. What now? Whoa. Oh. The USB memory stick disguised as a lighter. Damn. Did you just hit the jackpot or what? That has to be important if Kuwana was hiding it like this. What matters is the data on it. We'd be able to check it now if we had a computer. Bring it over to Tsukumo. Why don't we head back to Tsukumo's? Found something. I've had it with this place. We should get out of here. I wonder if we like left that behind specifically as like a hint, like knowing we would find it, or if it's like, no, I don't want anyone to find this, find this, or something. Oh, it got dark. I feel like we're about to get ambushed. RK probably has eyes on his place. Oh yeah. Yep. Think they're RK. 
Well, they're the only ones looking for Kiwana other than us, right? I don't feel like fucking with you guys right now. Sent the fucking B team. Probably for the best. If Soma was here, I don't think I could stay. I already kill him. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Which one of you is gonna talk? Where are Soma and Akatsu? There's no point in talking to a dead man. Uh huh. Well, if that's how you're gonna play it, then we're not holding back either. RK member, singular. <laughs> um, how do I do this thing? I need a parry and then triangle. Wait. Uh. I see, I see, I see the prompt, but I think I'm just like, just barely missing it. I need a heal. <laughs> I need a heal. <laughs> Get up, bitch. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna need more than the B team to deal with Yagami and Kaito. Where are Soma and Akatsu? I want to talk to them. Just want to talk. <laughs> we can't contact them. I swear, they're the ones who contact us. It's always been like that. <clears throat> Figured as much. <laughs> Useless. Most of the RK crew are just chumps. Yeah, I bet even Soma is just another piece on the board, taking orders from the real mastermind. Thugs don't work gigs that don't pay. Yet they came to Ijinsho, outside their turf, to commit murder. That's true. Sounds like someone's funding them. There must be some generous perks. Is it a government conspiracy? Otherwise, Soma and the others wouldn't be causing so much chaos over here. Then, who's the one pulling RK's strings? Probably some sort of government conspiracy. But I know what he's trying to do. Concerning, concerning they're this powerful. Catch Kuwana. <laughs> RK is just following orders. And Sawa sensei was probably collateral damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, shit. I swear I'm gonna drag this bastard out on his ass. If we keep looking for Kiwana, we'll run into the one behind this all eventually. And this could be our first clue. Then we'd better get back to Sukumo's. I hope they're not still conscious enough to hear that shit. Oh no. Lady, are you. Sp or no, old man. Are you friends of Kuana sons? Uh, yeah, we are. And those gentlemen on the ground? Bad people. Those guys. Um, oh, yeah. bad, We're bad people. <laughs> Little nap and we'll head right on home. <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> well, that's just fine. Excuse me, but you know Kuana, don't you? Oh, is he? I mean, he's lived next door for the last ten years. I guess he would be popular with his near with his neighbors. If he was short-handed, he'd come by and help us out. We pay him with our daily special. Man and his wife are in a, are Kwana's next door neighbors. I haven't heard from Kwana since last night. But do you happen to know any places he visits often? Let's see. He has an uncle that took him in when he first came to Yokohama. Called him a distant relative or something. He's an ex-Yakuza running a bar since he got out of the game. Apparently, this uncle is how he started getting gigs around town. What did Kiwana do before he became a handyman? Hmm. Beats me. Uh, maybe he's been here for like ten years, so... I don't think I've ever asked. Where can we find Kiwana's uncle's bar? Oh, the bar's called Siren. It's over in Chinatown. I've been there two or three times myself. The owner is a real nice guy. Hard to tell he was ever a Yakuza. Then we better get over there too. Can't afford to fall behind RK again. Let's hurry. Nice old man. Thanks for everything. And sorry for bothering you. Oh, don't mention it. I hope you don't get like caught up in RK's business. It's amusing how everyone gets their ass beat and then some new guy pops up think thinking he's gonna be the one to finally beat you. Like, dude, come on, go ahead and lie down peacefully before I knock you down forcefully. Look. 
sometimes you gotta beat some asses to make to make a name for yourself. <laughs> Younger than me doesn't have quite the uh, legacy as Kiryu did, so they don't know that he's not someone to fuck with yet. Kurana-san first arrived here over ten years ago. The owner of Siren introduced him to practically everyone in town. The bar is in Chinatown. You're doing Kaito. You're stretching, I guess. Ten years ago, I think. What was the name of um, Sawa's classmate who committed suicide? I think it was Mitsuru. Mitsuru's suicide was 13 years ago. So. And they said that the teacher, like, the teacher got fired because of how he handled the situation. I think Kuwana might be the teacher. Oh, no, that's just... <laughs> I thought that was like epic BGM about to come in. No, it was just it was just idle, idle sounds from the uh, restaurants. God, beer is just real piss water, huh? <laughs> Siren. Pool bar. Reminds me how many times I heard someone compare beer to piss. Look, it's real. It's carbonated piss. Can't convince me otherwise. Hello? Anybody here? Aya. Oh. This place empty too? I think I, I saw. Messy, yeah. But it wasn't exactly ransacked. Yeah. More like someone had to skip town in a hurry. Did the owner already make a break for it then? Be smart if he did. What with RK about to come hunt down Kuwana and all. Where's the owner? Might be just hiding. What is it? Pool table. You little bar. Just probably. Oh, that's not my phone. And you know, how does everyone know it tastes like piss? Why do you want to keep drinking something that tastes like piss? Because because of, of the other benefits of alcohol. The name of this place was Siren, wasn't it? Huh? Yeah. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, Soma, Soma... <gasps> Hi, you've reached Siren? Oh, in the shoulder? Oh god, 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 oh god. This pretty little thing is for women. Ah! Kai... Have I told you what RK stands for yet? It's red knife. Oh god. Soma! The owner must have smelled trouble coming. He took off before I could find him. Tell me. Why did you kill Sawa Sensei? Uh, I'm afraid she knew too much. And that's all. And that's all. You're in the same boat. We can't afford to ignore you anymore. You already made a mistake. You didn't kill me when you could have. I'll own up to that. Akutsu wasn't equipped to handle the task. Well then, now you pay the price for it. Will I? We gotta fight him right Play now. Down and you're by yourself. Should be easy. Oh god, we're fighting him right now. I thought you'd be like the final boss or something. <laughs> uh. I couldn't fight him again as the final boss, I guess. Kazuki Soma. I need a heal, I think. <laughs> hey, health? I'm at like half health. Um. Um. It's fucking cool with this full time. Yeah, a lot of these like cinematic intros for the bo boss fights are really good in the Yakuza games. Final boss is gonna be the president of Japan. Prime Minister? Goddamn. Okay, I think I'll see what I can do here. He, he is weapon, so. I don't think I can disarm him. Oh, oh god, he, I just realized he has a purple health bar. Um, So he probably has at least three health bars then. That's, I think that's the most I've seen so far in this game. I don't think I can grab him though. He is making me bleed quite a bit. 
Okay, that's one health bar down. Um, I need to like, be prepared. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I did it. I thought I thought I dodged it. Okay. I thought I I thought I did the thing. Okay. Oh, the music that's playing right now is really good. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Violins, man. <laughs> violence for this violence. <laughs> Move of being tossed on the ground means back with a spinning kick. That'd be enough for me to give up, look. Thing is... Yagami has never killed anyone. Kiryu has never killed anyone. <laughs> these aren't... These... These heat actions clearly aren't deadly enough to, uh... Actually do much damage. Punches don't count unless they're in cutscenes. Like, you- come on. Are you gonna come back up? I feel like you were. Phase two? Wait, I feel like I'm about to do a, uh, QTE. Oh no? Really? Okay. I feel like you're holding back, man, because I didn't even get to do a QTE that, that fight. Oh god, oh god, not the high-pitched noises. <laughs> you're scrappy, aren't you? Impressive. Maybe I should have prioritized stabbing you over Kaito. How's Kaito? Please get up. Oh, fuck. You're kind of struggling to stand, aren't you? Well, give it a second. Dude, I beat your ass. That kick went to your temple. I'm sure your head is spinning. Trying to rush it will only make it worse. Incidentally, Sawa Sensei didn't suffer long like you will. What the hell? <laughs> Someone's gonna have to save my ass again. Uh oh. Whoever that is has terrible timing. Is this the owner? Yes. Kwanakun warned me you'd show up. I decided I'd get out of there before you did. Don't expect that I'll ever come back either. All I wanted with Kwanasan was to have a little chat. No need to go running for your lives now. <laughs> Just want to talk. <laughs> Don't hesitate, bitch. Oh, he knows I'm here. What could you possibly want with him? Quit stalling and give him the phone. Unless you'd rather I push a button and call the cops. I'm done talking to you. The owner of the bar would like a word with you. How does he? Uh, I guess Kuana probably told him. Can you get an ambulance over to your bar right away? My partner took a knife to his abdomen. What? Please, you have to hurry! They're not gonna kill Kaido off. I don't think they would kill Kaido off. I don't think they would. <laughs> Kaido's basically our Kiryu in this game. So I don't think they would. <laughs> He has to go to space first. He, yeah, he does. Then he can cough off blood on the window. Oh, it's a spaceship window. Your partner is in good hands now. Just as you asked. I'm watching you as we speak. Oh? Oh. And don't bother looking for me. I won't be meeting you there. Instead, there's a karaoke bar called Survive. Heard of it? You'll find it in the entertainment district along the river. Safest bar in town. Really? I only showed up at your bar so I could ask you about Kiwana. Does this mean you want something in return? We'll get that sorted out. If you promise to meet me alone. No, I won't be at Survive for long. I won't be surviving for long. Make it in ten minutes. You'll never hear from me again. That's one way to motivate someone. <laughs> <laughs> Clock's ticking, by the way. So, Survive in the Entertainment District? Correct. 
I think you can walk and talk, Yagami. Let's get there. It better be. Apologies for the wait. Let's go. This is Sky. Are you taking me straight there? Oh, uh, I need to save. Um, to survive. Kawana is pursued by RK, the crime ring running Kamarucho. Determined to prevent any more deaths, Yagami searches high and low for the handyman. But the search leads Kawana's to the probably done some illegal shit. It's a fixer, probably. As the situation becomes dire, a lifeline appears at the other end of a phone. The caller offers a lead. One that expires too quick for comfort. Probably taking me straight there. The Weight of Guilt, Chapter 9. See, once we... <laughs> once we get into, like, this story and stick with it for a while, these chapters go by fast, because I think I was, like, Chapter was 6 last time. Could ask you about Kiwana. Does this mean you want something in return? We'll get that sorted out, if you promise to meet me alone. No, I won't be at Survive for long. If you don't make it in ten minutes, you'll never hear from me again. Time to call a cab. Entertainment by the District River. I wonder if it's actually- I doubt- I, I sincerely doubt it's actually time though. I'll go straight there, though. It's 20 minutes away, look. Not when you're Yagami. <laughs> it's only a loading screen away. <laughs> We're getting close, pretty close to... Usually these uh, RGG games are usually like 12 chapters long, so... Probably at like... Uh, what? Three-fourths of the way through now? Survive bar. <laughs> Found survive. Go in, you dumbass. Yagami san. Glad you could make it. Sounds like the same voice actor as. Yeah. Let's take this to the bar. Follow me. It sounds like the same voice actor as the chairman, but it's clearly not the chairman. <laughs> Seen that as well, yeah. So I hear you're a Kamurocho detective. It's not yeah. unusual for them to no reuse no voice actors, though. Here. Can I ask your name. No need. This will be the only time we meet. You'll never see me again. But to Kuwanakun, I guess you'd call me his uncle-in-law. <laughs> Everyone's got a dumbass uncle in the family, and that's me. After all, I'm ex Yakuza. Based in Yokohama? Yeah. Sorry, you clown. After I got out, I looked after the shop for 20 years. Till today. You mean Siren, right? What'll happen to it once you skip town? <laughs> None of your concern. Fair enough. <laughs> Guess you detective types can't help but ask questions. So you two are related. I noticed you didn't mention Kiwana being an alias. Hmm. Oh, done your homework, I see. Kiwana's secrets out in the open. Where should I leave the conversation next? His real name is Kitakata. His real name's Kitakata. At least, that's what the Kamurocho thugs called him. You're trying to see if I'll give up his name. That's not why I'm here. Okay. Why did you call me exactly? Well, you see, Kuanakun wanted me to stop by his office and grab something for him. Oh, duh. Such as? 
a USB. A pack of cigarettes with a lighter inside. Thing is, it was gone by the time I got there. Ah. Uh, a USB stick made to look like a lighter? Let's not beat around the Is it on me? It is. Say, I figured you'd grabbed it. So of all things, Kawana wanted you to pick this up? Yes. And he prefers to keep that content. Why would you put that card on the table? So, okay. If you could just hand that over. Now I'm curious. Care to tell me what's on here? Would you hand it over if I did? No. I'd still need to confirm you told the truth. <laughs> Can't you tell Kuanakun's backed into a corner here? Asking an old man to help was his only choice. Let's be honest. I couldn't take that thing from you if I wanted to. All I can do is appeal to your sense of decency. Well, I've got to say, that's more persuasive than threats ever would be. But if you really want me to give this up, at least let me see Kuana. I'd consider that, but he's already long gone. He was ready to cut out at the drop of a hat. I'm not prepared to disappear at any time. Definitely can't hand over this data. If that's the case. Unfortunately, I'll need to hold on to this. A high school teacher was killed by the thugs that went after Kawana. Her name was Yokosawa, a young woman dedicated to her career. I had met her while investigating the murder of a student teacher. But while trying to get her side of the story, I ended up running into Kawana outside her apartment. Do you know anything about this woman? I don't. You're really drawing a blank? You don't know anything about criminals coming all the way from Kamurocho just to get a Kuana? Do you at least know how they're connected to Sawa Sensei? Again, that's a negative. You don't know shit, old man. Okay. Tries my only concrete lead. <sighs> if it's so important to Kuana, he should have come himself, rather than send a middleman. Don't be so hard on him. I'm the one who taught him all his tricks. Are you saying Kawana's ex Yakuza too? Nah. He was just your average civvy before all this. But, circumstances as they were, he had no choice but to go underground. That's when he came to a gene show and I took him under my wing. I'm the one who suggested the handyman thing. He took to the underground with real gusto. What do you mean, gusto? I'm not just talking him up. He had good reasons for diving headlong into the shadows. Good reasons? Care to give me one or two? <sighs> You'll understand once you see what's on the lighter. Both Kuanakun's past and his purpose. Can we hurry up and give this to Sukumadan? <laughs> That takes care of everything I have to say. I feel like we're just stalling at this point. It's like, sure it's such a good <laughs> just look on what's stand on there. Come on, come on. Thinking about stopping me wouldn't be wise. This joint doesn't take kindly to that behavior. That's why this is the safest place in a Jincho, huh? Yep, and I'm glad your face is the last one I'll see in this city. And then he walks out of the barn and immediately gets shot in the head. And <laughs> can learn more about Kawana with the flash drives. Kuma cool should be able to check that for encryption. Yes, yeah, just check the evidence, guys. Look at the flash drive. Look at the fucking yearbook. Pros and cons of getting drunk. Drinking alcohol for beverages will make you temporarily drunk while intoxicated. Your EX gauge will charge faster. When you drink, the harder it becomes. The harder it becomes to walk in a straight line. Yep, sure is. Yagami's not drinking today, but I am. Oop. Yagami. You? Oh, great. Tesso. You were with the Yuma, right? They say you brought your little posse from Tokyo. You I couldn't trust enough. I have nothing to do with RK. Posse? Wait, don't tell me you Are think you about to stab me? They're not even close to me. 
Uh. Boys. Hey, Tesso, you got this all wrong. <laughs> really? Okay. You also have a purple health bar, okay. That should break the mask on your face, dude. <laughs> Keep seeing the prompts, but I'm missing it, like, just barely. Okay, um, waiting- uh, uh, No, I fucked it. <laughs> I don't- I really don't like it when- When they have directional inputs for the QTEs. I need to look up to see, like, uh, how some of these, uh- Oh no, you're bringing in more reinforcements, okay. I think this should be like the last. I don't think you're gonna call any more than these guys, so let me take them out. <sighs> Shit, I. I uh... Don't mind me, I'm just gonna stuff my face full of tuna onigiri. <sighs> oh god, you can jump, okay. Oh, I wish I could do more heat actions, but this is one that uh, is apparently easiest to do because I do it whenever I get knocked down. <laughs> Which is a lot, because I am not a gamer. <laughs> I need to get the, uh, I need to get used to uh, or like uh, figuring out uh, other combinations for uh, heat actions. Because I'm pretty sure when I fight Amon, because I am definitely going to fight Amon. <laughs> Aman has a thing where you can't use the same heat action on him more than once. Me this time. These Kamrucho douchebags show up, strutting around like they own our city. Then I hear some teacher chick gets killed after a break-in. Fuckers. Someone let him into Ijincho, right? No, I did right. not. Wasn't me. Look. Wasn't me. Why you're pissed. But you figured coming after me was the answer? Figured I could at least try beating a few out of you. Office visits ain't my style. You've got to appreciate that not everyone plays by gang rules, man. What I don't appreciate is Kamurocho trash. Now why are they here, Yagami? I'd like to find that out myself. But I'll tell you this much. I'm not your enemy. I was first on the scene of that murder. I knew the woman personally. The culprit is Arcade's leader, a guy named Soma. Shit. You serious? Then why is the rest of his crew here with him? A lot of muscle just to ice one lady. They're after Kiwana. They're after a local handyman, Kiwana. You know him? Yeah, matter of fact, I do. Why they want him so bad. I'm looking into that now. Which is why they're still after me. Not to mention they stabbed my partner. I don't appreciate you, uh... The way, the slower this will go. Yeah. Gotcha. Leave me alone, you dude. <laughs> How's about I make you the deal of a lifetime? Uh... So long as RK's messing around in my city. I don't mind calling you a brother. Alright. Really? Uh, we got the Limong on our side. Sure. But I get to be Aniki, of course. You really think this is selling? <laughs> what you're missing here is the Limong never target a brother. So now, if anyone lays a finger on you, the Leo Mong's taking their head. Same rule for all the ladies here in Ijincho. Anyone gets fresh, they become fresh meat. You with me on that, brother? Sure. <laughs> Besides, making you a brother is the only way we save face for getting our asses handed to us, you know? Ah, uh, now the truth comes out. Anyway, let me know if you get any intel on RK. Especially where that chicken shit Soma might be. Just shoot me a location and it's done. We'll give that teacher her piece. I kind of like him. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I respect the Limong. Pretty heavy hitters on my side now, huh? We got someone on our side at least. Someone who can deal with RK. Um, 
Boys are fine. Boys are fine. I was just thinking of calling you, Yagamishi. I heard Kaito-san got stabbed at Siren. Is that true, Yagami-san? What the hell happened? A lot. Yes, I'll fill you in, but right now I really need Tsukumo's help. With what? I found a USB drive at Kawanda's hideout. It was disguised to look like a lighter. We have to know what's on it. So, Kaito-san was attacked by that Soma guy too? Yeah, while we were chasing Kawana, Soma popped up and got him right in the gut. Almost got me too, to be honest. You're saying one guy almost single-handedly took down the Yagami Detective Agency? That's true. And right after, I got a call from Kawana's purported relative, who wanted me to hand over the flash drive. Apparently, what's on it will tell us Kawana's true identity and goal. When I open it, all I see is one data file. Of what? Encrypted, probably. It's a video. I'll hit play once you guys are all ready. You good? It's gonna be Mikashiba's murder again. Damn, what's on there? I can't take the suspense. Quantum went great lengths to keep this video secret. What are we about to see? It's probably actually it's probably not the same video of Mikashiba. Cause that's already public. Let's make it full screen. But it's probably something that's like it's a recruit. It could be. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. This is the kid who saw Sensei's old uh, classmate. Proof of bully. Is it blackmail? Because Suzuki is Mamiya san. <laughs> it's punishment time! God, that is awful. Ugh. I wonder if this guy is Kawaii. The main bully. Ugh. 2008, 9, September 17th, 4 p.m. I really, uh, I hate this video so much. <sighs> Seems to be some, like, hidden camera, maybe. Jesus Christ, that was fucked up. Okay. So, Yui Mamiya, the woman who Ahara groped, was also complicit in the bullying. So it's po Is Kuwana blackmailing her for Ahara? These little shits are the worst. One of them said something about Mitsuru Kusumoto stripping? Yeah, he was Sawa Sensei's classmate. Thirteen years ago, he jumped off the roof of Kurokawa Academy. He's Reiko Kusumoto's son, right? Vice Minister of the Health Ministry? Thirty years old and still in a coma. It seems we've stumbled on private video footage of Mitsuru Kusumoto being bullied. But why would Kawana have this video? Secret flash drive? Why would he have this? I don't know. But his uncle said it's our lead to Kawana's real identity and motivation. Can we please check the yearbook? Just a moment. This frame gives us a good look at the key players' faces. Why don't we try gleaning what we can from it? Sounds good. Let's dig in. Alright. 
2008. 2008. Yeah, we saw it flip phones then. <laughs> and find what we need in this video it seems lightly considering it was hidden and sought after. This girl recording the bullying on her cell phone. Someone said her name in the video. Suzuki. There's another familiar face. So it all comes circling back to her. Huh? Yui Mamiya. Right. This Suzuki girl has a different name now. Made a name. 13 years later, she changed her name to Yui Mamiya. Yui Mamiya. The victim in the Ahara harassment case. Suzuki was her last name before getting married. Sawa sensei also told me that Mitsuru Kusumoto and Mamiya were classmates 13 years ago. She seems to be the un so only girl here, so high school. at least Sawa sensei wasn't complicit. What's she like underneath it all? Originally, word got around that Shinya Kawai was the one bullying Mitsuru Kusumoto. After watching this, though, the truth of the matter doesn't quite line up. Yeah, it was a group. There were really about 10 bullies involved at the time, and Yui Mamiya was one of them. Yeah. If this video got leaked, Mamiya and the other students in it would be in deep shit. It'd be very effective They're blackmail. Their lives like nothing happened, despite being the ones who drove a kid into a coma. Wait, 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 what? If word got out, they'd be crucified by the public. Their jobs, their families, their lives would all change for the worse. Uh huh. That's the girl who the guy groped at the same time he murdered the guy? Yes, yes. Yes, and we're starting to think that there was like a that there was a body double at the actual station at the time, and then they switched, and Mamiya was aware that they were going to switch, which is why suspicious. What's his? Uh, which is which is why he uh, which is why it all the, the plan worked basically. <laughs> and all the bots on YouTube, uh, go watch them if you need to get get caught up on the plot. <laughs> This guy. This guy's face is familiar somehow. Oh, uh, I don't think I've seen him. Is this is a Kaike. I don't know him either. Who is he? I think I remember him. I think this is a Kai. Yeah, this is a Kaike. I saw him at the crime scene where Mikoshiba's body was. He was with more Kurakawa grads. He showed his ID to the Kanagawa detective. I think his name was Akaike. That gives us an interesting perspective, doesn't it? All the people in this bullying video seem to keep popping up around our case. They're being blackmailed yeah. to be complicit, the I real see. Question is, why was Kuwana the one with the video? Yeah, I think... Kuwana must be the teacher, I think. Because he's, he's too old to be like one of the other students. If he's related to them, then he's... The only person I could think he'd be is like a teacher or, other, or otherwise some relative. Kitakata. I don't know. Despite jumping off his school roof 13 years ago, Mitsuru Mikusumoto is still clinging to life. No one helped him, even with everything he was going through. 13 years ago, his mother was still just some nobody working at the Ministry of Health. She seems to have split with her husband and looks after her son on her own now. I don't know all the details, though. Hey, crazy theory, but... What if this husband she left was actually Kuana san? What the age match stuff? I don't think it would. He's only on he's only 13 years yeah, older. Kuana doesn't look like he could have a 30-year-old kid. Let's look for other possibilities. It makes me question if he actually jumped off or was pushed. I think like actual murder by a bunch of high school students is maybe like pushing the line maybe. I don't think they would go that far as to actual murder. I hope. <laughs> actual premediated murder. This bigger guy's acting like the main bully. I've seen his if face I'm before. Not mistaken, Shinya Kawai was the bully whose name got out to the public. Yeah. RK was hunting for him in Kamrocho pretty recently, too. I have no doubt the guy in the picture they showed me is the same guy in this video. Once RK came to the conclusion Kawhi had been murdered, they came here to Ijincho, hunting down Kawana for whatever reason. Did Sao Sensei get mixed up in all this because of Kawhi's case? I can't see a connection there just yet. 
learn more about Kawano or his past. I'm sure we can make some more sense out of this. Might not have been strictly intentional, prank gone wrong, things went out of hand, or they were pulling him on the roof and courting him and he fell backwards by in by accident. I guess it would depend. I'm not quite sure though. Cause usually I'm not sure if it'd be the same case in this school, but like for this for the school that Yagami works at on the roof they have very high fences, like probably to like prevent that uh possibility of accidentally falling off. So I'm not quite sure. That's you see them a lot in like um Japanese media. What the 2008 and September 17th must be the date. In school year terms, they just finished summer break. September 17th, 13 years ago. It's past 4 p.m., so this would be after school. Oh, wait, this is... Got something? I just cross-referenced the date Mitsuru Kusumoto jumped. Uh, September 17th. Oh, shit. That can only mean this video was recorded very shortly before his suicide attempt. Video captures the crucial instance of bullying that drove Mitsuru Kusumoto to attempt suicide. I'm not quite sure because, like, they did leave him, like, they did leave him alone after this, like, at the end of this video, so I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure if it was actual, if it was, like, murder. Interesting connections, but we still don't have that crucial link. The link being the reason Kawanasan came to possess this, of course. Right. Kawana's either the one who recorded it himself, or is at least a recipient of the video from the original witness. Kawanasan and Sawa Sensei knew each other somehow, right? Well, then maybe Sawa Sensei recorded it 13 years ago and then had Kawanasan look into it as one of his handyman requests. It's possible, but it just feels off. Why is that? Because of what Siren's owner said to me. Okay. What do you say? <laughs> You'll understand once you see what's on the lighter. Both Kuanakun's past and his purpose. He said we'll know Kuana's true identity once we watch the video. But that hasn't been the case so far. Yeah. Uh, what identity could we draw from a secret recording of some bullies? Teacher. Teacher. Assuming Kuan is in his early 40s, he would have been about 30, 13 years ago. What if he was a school teacher of the students in the video? Kuan is the bully? <laughs> nope. In that case, we should consult the yearbook Segura. <laughs> finally. Uh, finally. Is in Sawa Sensei's room? You still have yet to look through it. That's right. Uh, let me go get it. The way you're talking, I assume you've already taken a peek? We have. But, unfortunately, we didn't find Kawana-san's face among the teachers. Hitakata. This is the page for Mitsuru Kusumoto's class. Both Sawa-sensei and Mami are there, too. So the homeroom teacher was... this guy. Apparently, he witnessed bullies harassing Mitsuru multiple times, yet he would overlook it. All he did was smile and... Tell them not to overdo it. It's not Kawana. This is someone else. We checked the rest really? of the teachers too, but never spotted Kawana-san. Mitsuru Kusumoto. This picture doesn't look like it was shot for a yearbook. Correct. He was most likely already in a coma when photo time rolled around. Attempted suicide in September, so the other photos must have been taken after that. How forced or smi how forced her smiles are in these pictures. Isn't smiling at all in this. Are she? Huh. Ikosawa. She mentioned she blew off her class reunion. In fact, she hadn't kept in touch with her classmates at all. No surprise there. Mitsuru kun would be bound to come up at some point. This is Yui Suzuki. She's definitely one of the girls in the video. Yet another classmate involved with Mitsuru Kusumoto. Sure is her. Seems like a bunch of the students on this page were in the video, huh? Where's Kawhi? Yeah, but I 
can't find Shinya Kawaii. It's possible that it's like a different teacher entirely. Yeah, you're right. Because apparently him. the teacher got like fired school, shortly after once he started catching flack for Mitro attempted suicide. At least that's what I read online. No real evidence yet, but it definitely sounds like how it would have played out. But the truth is, there were more bullies who should have seen consequences besides Kawaii. Does anything stick out as strange? Hmm. Ask me to E. Wait, what am I? Oh, the teacher. Look the other way, telling them not to overdo that and you know that thanks to Sawa Sensei. His teacher knew. He even talked to the bullies about it. But all he said was, don't overdo it. And afterward, the public eviscerated him. He had to quit his teaching job. Hold on. If he was dismissed, yeah. You figure something out? If he was dismissed. The teacher at the time of the incident did take some flack. He got forced out of teaching. Yeah. What of it? If that's the case, couldn't this teacher in the yearbook just be filling in for the other one? I see. That definitely sounds likely. Yeah. Let me search for the original teacher's name. Kitakata, right? <laughs> the same guy in the yearbook. Just give me a sec. Okay. Something else here? Hmm. That's a Kaike. Scoping out Mikashiba's murder scene. Actually, I had to help Ahara just like mommy I was. Could have been keeping tabs on me for sniffing around the case, or am I just being paranoid? Nah, that's probably it. Suspicious. Photo was taken prior to his suicide attempt. He's been in a coma ever since. Photo isn't here since he left the school so soon after the incident. What the? Sawa Sensei. Mentioned being distraught over Mitsuru Kusumoto situation. Hmm. Mamiya. Having married, uh, as far as the video makes it seem, she's one of the aggressors. Yeah, she was filming it on her phone. Yagamishi, I found it. The name of Mitsuru Kusumoto's former homeroom teacher. Hirakawa? Kitakata? It wasn't the same teacher in the yearbook. This one's name is Yu Kitakata. That's him. <laughs> Kitakata? <laughs> huh? Don't tell me that's... His real name's Kitakata. Ring any bells? That's Kawana's real name. Soma said it to me once. So... Kuwana-san was the original homeroom teacher? I just found a picture. This is Kitakata-sensei from 13 years ago. It's Kuwana. That's him, all right. Really? I guess. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah that's him. Sensei was part of this class. He's finally shaved. This is the link we've been looking for. The missing link. Everything has clicked into place. Kawana-san was the linchpin of this case. So, 13 years ago, Yu Kitakata left teaching behind after Mitsuru-kun's incident and became Kawana the handyman. That's what made him turn to his uncle at Siren for help. He told me Kawana tried really hard to make it in the underground, had some good reason for it. For living a life in the shadows? So he's like blackmailing his former students in order to like help him do shit? Wait, hold on. Wait, alcohol in my head. Um, <laughs> he's like, he's like blackmailing his former students as like, why though? <laughs> I guess it's probably out of guilt. Or something like how he handled Mitsuru's case. Guilt or revenge. Yeah. Kwana stopped teaching because a student of his attempted suicide. What was he after he went underground? To get revenge on the bullies? To get revenge on the bullies. Maybe Kwana blames the fact that he had to quit teaching on the bullies who caused it to happen. Then, maybe all his hatred got aimed at Shinya Kawai? Possible. He was abducted five years ago by individuals thought to be his acquaintances. You think one of them was Kuwana-san? I wouldn't rule it out. 
RK might have learned of Kawana's involvement while searching for Kawana. Why is RK Maybe searching for Kawano? So can get details on the incident from him? Yes, that would explain RK's arrival in town as well. What's RK's well, goal here? Here. Individuals who were his acquaintances, meaning more people besides Kawana-san, right? Could that mean? You got it. Clues to bullies. Kaike and company. Evidence we gather so far should give us a clue. Wait, um, yeah, yeah, these guys. Right? <laughs> we already know this. Oh, the students in the video? Individuals acquainted with Kawhi. They certainly fit the bill. But why would they wind up abducting him? Huh. Maybe Kawana asked for their help? No. He forced them to. Blackmail! What makes you say that? Well, Kawana had this on a secret flash drive, right? But to anyone in this video, it would be their worst nightmare for it to show up now. If it did, it'd be busted as bullies who drove a high school kid to suicide. Yep, it'd be a real disaster for them if that got out. They'd probably be done for in the public eye. Which means this video is Kawana's leverage. It's how he got them to go after Kawhi. You think this is enough leverage to drive people to murder, though? Kawhi was killed, right? RK is the only one saying Kawhi was murdered. Yeah. No has been recovered yet either. If they were also complicit yeah, in, like, the murder, he could yeah. also get more blackmail from that. Stacked on top of each other. But there is somebody who could potentially confirm this. Who? Akaike? Or Mamiya? Mamiya, for example. I've met with her at her home. <laughs> If she was involved with Kawhi's abduction, she could probably tell us what we want to know. I agree. Yagami Shi's provided a working theory that ties together the Kamurocho and Ijincho incidents. So if we can get Yui Mamiya to corroborate this, we should be able to extract even more information from her. Perhaps even including Kawana-san's whereabouts. Yeah. Looks like he hasn't given us the slip just yet. Man. The hell is that guy's deal? Mami is probably not gonna be happy to see us again, though. Shiba and Sawa Sensei's murders, Ahara's alibi, Kawai's disappearance. Kawan is most likely tied to everything. We'll get all the answers we need if we can find him. And I guess this is bringing us that much closer? <laughs> Hopefully. I should go see you and Mamiya tomorrow. She's not gonna be happy to see me. Considering we seem to be kicking the investigation into high gear. Since I lost Kaito. I'm sure Yagami she could use a helping hand. I'll be fine right here. Your call, Sukumo kun I'm cool with whatever. Yeah. Thanks for letting him out, Sukumo. I'll make sure he comes back in one piece. Hey, don't underestimate him as a party member. He can hold his own if you let him. Yeah, more bonding time with Sergira. I love Sergira. Probably still locked off on my school. No, I can actually continue with school stories, it looks like. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now, though. <laughs> I'll keep going with the main story, I think. You know how they say your life flashes before your eyes when you die? <laughs> that shit's real talk. No, no, don't talk about that so, shit. Uh, yeah, there I am. Bleeding out. And suddenly I'm getting the third degree from Matsugane san. Back when I was still just a rookie. Captain Hamura stares me down like, Time to lose that pinky. And then, Higashi starts crying for me. Oh, if I'm gonna go, I ought to get a better final scene than that shit, right? Right? Got on a blaze of glory. When the time comes for real. Glad you pulled through, man. Or just grow old, have some grandchildren, find a nice lady. Not particularly in that order. <laughs> well, you didn't tell the cops about him, did you? Had to give the cops a statement, so I did. With a generous side of bullshit. That'll get you busted, you know. I'm joking. All I said was the truth. Good. That I got knifed by the same twisted fuck who got Sawa Sensei. In that case, it's only a matter of time until Soma's arrested. So for now, we'll go after Kawana, the piece that ties it all together. We just have to find him before RK does. Kawana, huh? 
He's on my shit list too, just so you know. Huh? Kuana must have had some sort of agenda back when he first met us. In fact, it's probably because you were looking into Mikoshiba. Right, because we met him when... I'm just a sucker of the agency, huh? He met us when the, when we were going to meet Sawa Sensei about Mikashiba at Plaga and the White Masks uh, ambushed us. I'm getting better. Tsukuma will stop by later too. What? Tsukiyura gonna give me the cold shoulder? He and I are off to question Mamiya. He said he'd drive us from Ajincho and everything. Take it easy, Kaito. And you were stepping on his turf. You didn't mean physical area. Oh, yeah. He's probably like. Kwana's probably keeping tab. Well, was keeping tabs on Sawa Sensei then. If he's like this, um, embroiled in all of this. Head back to Yokohama 99. Sugira has a car ready. Alright. <laughs> Do I continue with the main story or return to side to side stuff? Do some dancing. I could. I do have a side quest that I need to that I can't finish until I uh talk to Nishizono and Nishizono is having some issues right now. So I can't talk with her unless I Continue with the dance club. I think I'll do some side stuff because otherwise, when I <laughs> when I up, when I edit and upload the vod to YouTube, it's gonna be too long if I only do main story. <laughs> I'm also like I feel like I don't want to talk to Mamiya right now. I feel like she's gonna be like a Kane, but worse. Cause I think like the way they're saying like Kawaii is supposed to be like Matsui, Mitsuru's. Like Koda. Why do all the Akane's I know suck? Like, Akane Awari is not that bad. <laughs> She's just a little dumb. <laughs> um, guess I just need to talk to you. Worry about Sayaka. I hope it's nothing serious. Got practicing to do. Let's wrap it up. Which song are we doing? You've unlocked a song for the next meet girls, okay. Oh, it's a pop song. Um, I, yeah. Okay, so it's the idol outfit for this one. Oh god, these moves. <laughs> this is very pop idol. <laughs> that was something, alright. <laughs> girls! 69,000, nice. <laughs> nice. Sayaka never showed. Were you able to reach her? No. She won't answer the phone. I'll hydrate. I'm, that means I have to drink actual water and not beer. I actually barely drink any of the beer. I'm not like not even close to halfway done with this can. <laughs> Mm. She won't answer the phone. She didn't respond to one of my texts, though. Hmm. She's not sick. She's heart- she's heart sick. No, heartbroken. This water ain't water, look. What was it? Like, uh, back in, like, medieval ages, they drank beer- they would drink beer instead of water because their water was, like, so, uh, dank and unhealthy and nasty. <laughs> Something she don't know at all. Hmm? It's Amasawa. New dancing buddy activity. Come to the MRC HQ right away. All right. What's going on? Her earls. You uh, 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 uh. Um, I have too many pocket tissues in my pocket. Pocket's not big enough for more pocket tissues. Actually, I kind of want to check upstairs real quick, cause uh, she did she did teach a second year class. So I wonder if the second years have anything to say that say about it. 
I was actually there. Sawa sensei thing, there for what? You think it's time to make a Shiba sensei there when sensei left in the school for last time in a hurry? No clue. Well, there's too many conversations going on. Two people called in such torrid times. No idea what the rush was. Come on and cut it out and decide it out. Man, Sawa Sensei. Can't believe it either. I just asked her with my English only the other day. So it feels like she's gonna walk right into class, doesn't it? Yeah. If only. Oh, these poor kids. Not a great situation for anyone involved right now. Amasawa. What's up? Made another request on the professor's site. I want you to break up a certain couple. I don't want anything bad happening to them, though. So please do it peacefully. Would 5,000 yen work for you? 50 bucks to break up a couple? Huh? Split up a couple? It's a request for the professor. Hasn't received any replies. That's just what we can see. Who knows what might be going on in their DMs? Excuse me. Yagami-san. Setting a trap for a bad bunny. Personating the professor and DM the poster ourselves. Request received, let's meet to discuss. I think Dancing Buddy would fall for that. Posters can change their usernames anytime. I'll just change mine to the professor before sending the message. Hopefully that does it. That's not very secure, is it? Shoot. Well, let me change my name to a pre-existing one. Um. Don't like... Maybe they didn't consider look-like name changes, so let's see, I'll try Professor with three S's. Okay. <laughs> That's why you always check, um... <laughs> you always check the usernames of the people who DM you and stuff. Uh. I've had a lot of experience with online impersonation. Catfish- catfishing? Important school for any modern day investigator. I already have a reply. Taking the bait. Wasn't sure that name was going to work. Cafe below the station. Alright. Do I talk to her and then she'll take me there automatically? I see. Uh, yeah, let's go. Head out. Disguise yourself. You can spoil the operation. Oh. Um. <laughs> I just have to be a vampire. Look, the vampire outfit is fucking amazing. <laughs> Looking good and ready to roll. Let's go. The fact that the vampire outfit exists is just. Amazing. God tier. Best Yagami disguise. <laughs> it's almost time. Sayaka. Huh? Do you really be we should ask? Excuse me. Are you dancing yes. bunny? Nope. Sorry. Hmm. Hey. Huh? <laughs> well, saw senpai Yagami-san. How can you tell it's me under all of this makeup? <laughs> Ishizono. You don't mind this meeting turning into a bit of Q&A. <laughs> Where do I even begin? You're really dancing bunny on the professor's forum. Yes. Hey. What made you join? What made you even ask those things? Leave prelims with Hiragi Senpai. While we were out together, he told me something. Oh, he that he got a girlfriend. So 
But he has a girlfriend now. Is it? I don't want you to waste your en energy on anything besides Dance Jam. You said I should be focusing on finals. Seriously? I asked you out just to tell you that? I feel like such an idiot for getting my hopes up. This news might have the opposite effect on of what he intended. Frankie Senpai is just like that sometimes, hopelessly clueless. Um, harem anime protagonist. Asked the professor to end their relationship. Is it with? I don't. I don't. After he told me he got a girlfriend, I just sort of lost it. If they broke up, I'd get my motivation back. Can even do Nori. Okay, so it's not Norizuki. Told Norizuki san about his new girlfriend right after he broke the news to me. It's not to ruin Dance Jam for more people than the professor probably could. Quest to Takiri and Norizuki. Even if you factor in the Dancing Bunny request for Norizuki to get injured before finals, you post that one too. Get injured? What are you talking about? You don't know. I meant I ran my mouth in some posts when I was steamed in the past. I haven't posted for a really long time until the one you replied to. Hey. You swear this is the truth? Of course, I mean, oh my god, asking someone to hurt Narizuki-san? That's messed up. Did the police know already? She's telling the truth. Means... Someone impersonated her account when they made a, her request. You can't have a pre-existing username. Yeah. When you're the professor. Someone hacked the site, doubtful. Professor seems to be a masterful actor, hacker. Professor cybersecurity station is at a lax. Ishizona. When you're ready, will you come back to the dance club? Yes. Very much like to. We're all writing for you. Me and all the rabbits. Yes. Hmm. Well, do you believe Nishizono san? Yeah. Come to know her pretty well, so I think it's safe to say. She's definitely not the type of person to harm a rival just to increase her our own chance of winning. We should trust her. Who's this a dancing bunny requesting a hit on Norizuki? They access Nishizono-san's account somehow. Did she like forget to log out somewhere? <laughs> you have to stop that request from being fulfilled. All this effort will have gone to waste. Truly artful can detective can solve incidents before they even occur. I'm already a god. I'm, my stats aren't going up anymore. Come on. <laughs> um, I think I think I'll try to finish the school club stuff so I can eventually just uh ride the rest of the story to the end pretty much. I do just kind of want the uh Whatever the final boss is in this game, I want them to be the last thing I do. <laughs> unless... Uh, unless there was like actual stuff in Premium Adventure this time. Because last game there wasn't. Because usually in, in most of these RG ga RGG games, you can't, you can't do most of like the sub-stories and stuff before... ...the end of the plot. But sometimes there's like some extra like... There's some extra stuff like this, like hanging out with Haruka and I think it was in Kiwami that you can only do after you uh you can only do in Premium Adventure. Is she back? Takanashi. She's Ono here. Hello. She's not feeling up to it yet. I'll go if I can, though, just a second ago. First on our advisor, now we can't even keep a captain. Should be too busy getting ready for Dance Jam to be sitting around worrying. Run through the routine, alright. Oh, it's nothing serious. It isn't, but also high school and emotions and puberty and 
shit. <laughs> yeah, Takan are uh, Yeah, Takanashi, right? Yeah. Her like her voice her voice clips here sound very Iori from 13 Sentinels. It's freaking dance. Bitch. That's mean, sorry. Come on. Oh, there she is. Hey everyone. Sorry I've been gone. Hanging in there? I think so. Okay, practice time. She's not a hundred percent quite yet, but she's some percent, and that's better than zero percent. Still yeah. <laughs> she doesn't look like she's back to a hundred percent. What? Where have you been? Almost done for today. Really sorry. I've been thinking, maybe I shouldn't go to dance. No. Hi. Just can't focus on practice anymore. I don't want to hold the rabbits back. This isn't like you. What happened? No. You know what's up with Sayaka? I never seen her this way before. Uh. Uh. Of course, they haven't heard what happened yet. Masawa, where'd you come from? Rather depressed. Masawa. Mm. Can we speak in private? I just need to be counselor for a second. Mm -hmm. Certainly explains why Nishizono is down in the dumps. I wonder how Norizuki's holding up. Hiragi apparently broke the same news to her the same day. Oh. Had a brief conversation with her just today. Really? How? How'd you arrange that? She sometimes works out in Hamakita. Warned her about the dancing bunny request, told her she'd be safe for skipping jam scam, uh, dance jam altogether. Um. She didn't seem one bit affected by Hiragi-kun's rejection. She said there's no way she'll back out of the finals now. Generally focused on her training. Simply attempting to blow me off, I see. I suppose that's how she survived as an idol. It's a pretty ruthless industry. Hey. Hamakita. Okay. Go have a talk with her myself. We'll pay our visit. Norizuki might be the one person who could light a fire under Nishizono again. It's not the most surefire plan of attack, but I suppose it's worth a, worth a shot. At least shot I have, then I'm gonna take it. I don't like it when it shows Sawa's apartment as the lighting screen. <laughs> it reminds me of bad things. Yep, up to you. Athleisure. You can harden your foundations, I see. Getting ready for dance jam. Do you have a minute? Just for a quick chat. I heard through the grapevine that Takumi Hiragi dropped some bad news on you. Right before finals, what was he thinking? If I'm honest, he seems to have done me a favor in the long run. Jizono sure hasn't taken it the same way. She's so depressed now that she's blowing off practice. Jizono san is. Things don't change, change soon. She might not even show up at dance gym. Not bad, huh? Hey. I got a favor I need to ask you. Have a talk with her. Girl to girl. Yeah. At least if she sees how hard you're working, can I help her get over her fun and get fired up for dance again? Yeah. To make my opponent not quit? Don't you think a solid rival, rival, uh, rivalry would do your own crew some good? <laughs> see more than a few I idols ruin their careers with their personal affairs. Any dancer who tends to compete at national level needs the mindset of a pro, not a high schooler. I have no sympathy for quitters. Don't mistake me for someone who does. But you're still gonna talk to her, right? I need to get back to practice. That didn't seem to go too well. What should I do now? I hope I get P hurt in PE today. What's wrong with you? A mask kiss? I just wanna go uh wanna go to the nurse's office. I just want to see Hakase-sensei, don't you? I should at the gym you ex ex escort me there. I 
think Hakase Sensei is actually one of the DLC girlfriends, but I don't think you can actually talk to her in the base game. Nurjo's office does have like an icon on it that makes it look like it makes it look like I can go in here, but I can't. Hey Nishizono. Oh. Still having trouble focusing? Yeah, I know. I feel like the dance club hasn't had um a mess over some boy. as many voice uh, cutscenes uh, as the other clubs. Uh, what? Oh, Norizuki. Oh, is that her? Why would she be here? Hey, I heard Yurie Norizuki's here at our school. Come down. Man, I can't believe it. Oh man, she's even cuter than she looks on TV. Go back to your club ruins, boys. I can tell you're not looking at her face. <laughs> Idol anymore. Go back to your club rooms. What brings you here, Norizuki? I only came by to see the look on Nishizono's stupid face. Stupid face. <sighs> so he broke your heart. Big deal. Is that why you were dancing for Takumi? Well, <sighs> that's just it. I, I don't know anymore. I've just lost sight of why I love dance. I'd say it was about six months ago. Huh? Around the time, a friend of mine invited me to go watch some small town dance contest. Um, okay. I was still in the industry at the time, mind you. The whole time I was an idol, my routines were all about keeping the fans happy. I didn't have any creative input. So when I saw this team competing at the contest, saw how happy they were to be on stage, I was blown away. They inspired me to leave the idol gig behind. I wanted to really enjoy my dancing for myself, like they did. Oh. And that team I saw was yours. Huh? Ah. Uh -huh. Watching your dance made me realize I was missing something in my own. The joy of really expressing yourself. <laughs> For real? The rabbits were the biggest stars on stage that night. Your routine wasn't even that great, but you were all just beaming. To be real with you, I was jealous. I'd never felt anywhere near as happy on stage as you all looked that night. <laughs> and you know, I was in love with Takumi too. So much so that I was hoping to win the final so he'd really notice me for once. Want somebody to notice me. <laughs> While I put all my effort into making sure I didn't lose to you, I discovered something. Yeah, Takumi is a dumbass. The real reason I wanted to dance. I wanted to be able to show you and the rabbits everything I've got. I wanted the respect of the team I looked up to. You looked up to us? Yes, I did. And now I have a passion for dance that I never want to lose. Her voice sounds familiar too. I think she's Fi. After all, I need a rival. <laughs> all right, then see you at Dance Jam. I don't know why I'm getting Fi from her. Out of the way! You're interrupting her practice. Back to your club rooms. <laughs> Fai isn't like the same voice actress as uh, Nanako Dojima. <laughs> I think. Sorry, everyone. I've been out of it for too long. So, how about some practice? Okay. All right. Thank you, Narzuki. <laughs> Okay, but I can talk to you about uh, that one side case, right? It's kind of like the main reason I wanted to do this one first. Here we go. This bug has been here forever. <laughs> Still signal here. Camera. Spy cam in the dance club. 
I know you just got back, but I got some bad news for you. You locked up the club room when the rabbits aren't using it. Just to be safe. And the club has a key. Just me and Maria. Anyone in the dance club installed a camera in here. Someone broke in. The thing is, you're being peeped on. Spy cam. Don't tell the eaters just yet. I don't want them getting upset at least. Not until I find whoever installed it. Uh, we had practice the other morning. I was too lazy to go all the way to the locker room, so I changed. Uh, changed in here. It's the first one here, and no one else was around, so. Um. Oh. Uh. Hmm. I'm in damp. No, you're you're fine. You're fine. You had no way of knowing there was a camera there. Let's not go over, but board here. Find a creep and give him one for me. Alright, I will. My dear Sayaka Town. This one's honestly been kind of a pain in the ass, so I kind of just want to get it out of the way. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just spinning around here real quick. <laughs> Bingo. Oh, and one of the lockers. <clears throat> Coming from this locker. Something goes on? Your Yagami sensei from the MRC. Stopping by campus for a bit. Do you know whose locker this is? Misaka sans, but she just transferred from here. They haven't reassigned the locker to anyone. Care if I would you guys care if I opened it? I'm actually looking for something. It should be empty. Something like that. Locked. Have to pick it. Right in front of these students. That's fine. Nice. Got there you go. Our spy cam. So I'm trying to record through the locker vents. Angle to shoot upwards. Hey. Hanging around here fairly often. Nice and sunny in this spot. Girls' lockers are all close by, so people tend to meet up here between classes. Trying to peep up skirts here at school. More cameras hidden around. Alright. I don't mind using the detector really, but the sound it makes is just really annoying. Near the... Bingo. Single from the MRC, I guess. Amasawa and Kotoko. Itakura. <laughs> Being targeted or something. I feel like Amasawa would, would notice a... Amasawa out of, out of all people would notice a camera. Wait, um, up? There we go. Why up? From the ceiling? That's not for, uh... Skirt, uh... <laughs> skirt peeping? Yeah. I'm a saw I'm working on something. Why in the ceiling? Is that a spy camera? What's going on? Good question. really do have a foyer on campus. Every camera was angled to shoot up the girl's skirts, except for one hidden in the MRC club room. Setting up camera here, but not enough to warrant angling up skirts, or as it turns out, my skirt in particular? That's the proverbial bullet. Because the culprit has some perverse bodily preferences, or perhaps he isn't a friend of my brand of- Nope. He don't have to already know what they look like. Come up with something before Amasawa gets totally lost. Why would the voyeur only watch at MRC from the ceiling while all the cameras were down low? He's keeping tabs on the MRC. 
After all, sifting out dirty deeds is one of your main activities. Huh. You have a key to the store, right? <sighs> Do you always lock up when you leave? Is so it like a teacher or like a janitor? Dance club locks their door too, but the camera still ended up in there. Gain access to multiple rooms on campus. How do you do it? With a master key. Hey. I have some sort of master key. Who has access to that? Which means... I think I figured it out. Well... Only one with the access to the master key is a school custodian. Several teachers used to have their own copies, but some amount of school property went missing. All the keys were collected and destroyed, saved one. Firms, various inspections and repairs all over campus in every room. Team going about his business every day and assume it's for necessary work. Custodian can do as he pleases by the grace of being essentially visible while at school. Sounds like a plausible theory. Custodian is a prime suspect. Alright. Agurosan, our custodian. We're about to... We're about to ruin this man's job and life. <laughs> Excuse me. Agurosan. How are you today, Amasawa-san? Want to ask you, actually, on the case. Does this look familiar? How's his reaction? Crap! Oh. <laughs> That's not the way you should react, dude. <laughs> You just say crap? Shit! Ugh. Do you mind if I got your fingerprints? I'll be quick. I may have been found out, but I will not go down for this. Alright. You should not be working at a school, dude. You're going to jail. I've dedicated my l entire life to the art of upskirt photography. I'm not letting my work end here. I'll do whatever it takes to escape. Um. How did you get hired here? <laughs> it can't be. A nice old custodian, I can't believe it. You just don't ask ask me to give him something. <laughs> Alright. Dude. How do you end up working here? How do you get hired? <laughs> get out of here. Dirty old man. <laughs> About to ruin this guy's entire career. Ugh, uh. Where'd you get the cameras? I heard this detective to look into my wife. After that job, I got him to sell me these. Good price, too. Everything you know about this detective. I talked online, all you told me was work for the illegal detective agency. Damn agency. What happens to me now? You get fired and will hopefully, uh, thrown in jail. <laughs> See the chairman let him decide. I say you're lucky if you only end up- only end up fired. You do not peep on teenagers. Disgusting. Go to jail. This case is closed, except we don't know who the illegal detective agency yet. How dare he sell the title of detective? Catch just no good fraud as soon as you can. Nice. I can't take my buzz researcher, researcher inside the school, I guess. Ah, uh, yeah, I can't- I can't check Twitter in school. <laughs> I guess they have it blocked. <laughs> okay, I'll just finish off the, uh... I'll finish up the dance club, then. It's just why you gotta get a VPN and then you can watch you can you can scroll Twitter and watch all the anime you want while while in school. That's what I did. <laughs> Let me try hard. I don't think it's gonna go well, but I'll try it. My my hand is getting kind of sore actually. <laughs> I thought 
that was done. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, team. Yeah. Perfect job. Everyone's totally nailing it. Feeling all right now. It's almost like I found some new power in me or something. I can't believe how bummed out, how bummed I was before. All over that, dude. You're too good. You're too good for Takumi anyway. Today's the day. It's dance jam time. The day Dancing Bunny asked for Yurie Norizuki to get attacked, who exactly made the request we've yet to find out. I won't let them run this meet. It's the least I can do to pay back Norizuki. Maybe the alcohol is making it hard to rhythm game for me right now. <laughs> I want to at least try to finish it before our stream ends. <laughs> Time to hop it up. Yes. Already getting nervous. You? Bastard. Comic Hato Sensei. Hey guys, I just wanna say sorry I couldn't come to practice. Um too little too late, dude. I'm still really sick, so yeah, sorry. Don't you worry about a thing, Comic Hato Sensei. I'll take them over to the venue. Me. Thank you, Yagami Sensei. Please share these with the rabbits. Energy drinks. Good luck. Oh, Already drugged. Yes. That's sweet. Let's go make him proud. I feel like the energy drinks are a bad idea somehow. Kinda sus. Keyword updated noise, okay. Can I come too, please? Huh? Oh, Sawa Senpai. Why do you want to go dance to him? Um... I've. Gotta cheer on the rabbits. Get the crowd pumping and all that. Thanks. You wanna check about the thing, the so. professor. Update on Dancing Bunny. Keep checking the site though. I haven't learned anything new either. Need to do more than keeping our eyes peeled if we're going to ensure Norizuki-san's safety. Gotcha. Shift gears into bodyguard mode. Norisuki san's dance club performs first. Our top priority when we arrive at the venue should be to find her. Alright. We're up second after Misaki. Hi. Amazing. So excited, but I'm so nervous. But I'm also so excited. Ah. I'll be waiting for our turn just over there. There they are. Masawa. Let's go find Narizuki. What? Someone's coming after me, right? That. I'm not dropping out of Dance Jam. Yeah. I totally get that. I have no intention of letting some awful person ruin today for you either. Helping you let me escort you at least until your crew leaves the stage. I certainly don't want today to be ruined either. Hey. Can you tell us how today is supposed to play out? Up first, I'm heading backstage once we're done here before the doors open to the public. Team is waiting for me there already. Leads to the waiting area for the club on deck to take the stage. Keep an eye on this door after Norizuki heads backstage. We'll catch anyone trying to sneak in. So also that staircase that leads up to the stage. Which is the backstage area too. We gotta keep an eye on it as well. Blend in with the audience and watch for any suspicious characters. Bodyguard mode. A lot of writing on this. Better not let anyone slip past me. Crew's already backstage. We'll just have to watch the stairs and door here for someone trying to use them. Hmm. That guy, he's heading in the direction and he's acting pretty nervous. Go confront him. I feel like that's just a distraction. <laughs> Excuse me. He probably just wants to see Norizuki. Huh? Where are you headed? That leads backstage, you know. Hey. What business do you have backstage? You're not staff, are you? Well, shit. I don't want it to be obvious, but oh well. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Don't they have a... Okay. Don't they have, like, security at, like, the... At, like... At, like, the gate or something? Damn it, no. Don't they have security at the entrance, entrance so no one can bring weapons? What? <laughs> gotcha. Oh god. Nice. <laughs> Not happening. Why do you have a why do you have a baton? Son of a bitch. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Mewkind gang, I guess. What's going on? Some kind of warm-up exhibition before the finals? <gasps> you! Sakakiba! Big mistake, man. Everyone who messes with our work gets her gets her goose cut. Hang on, you're I know you, asshole. Wait a minute. That's right. You're in the kind for Sagakiba. Big foodie, huh? Dogabee! I've been hoping I'd find you. You ruined my whole life. You were already kind of a mess to begin with, but you're why I spent the last few years starving. Cause so I already gave me that sob story. No more gun money, booted for Kamarachi, all that. Part of the Neo Kyan gang, trying your luck here on Ijincho. Maybe. Means it's safe to assume the professor sent you. Oh, the professor, he's awesome. He's the only reason I'm living high on the hog again. Tell me everything you know about him. Now, bitch. Just <laughs> trying to make me spill the beans, Yagami. I bet you can't. Not while I got the power of food. Look at him go. Such awesome moves. We haven't really done anything yet, though. See ya! Get off the stage. If you're not dancing... You're right, I'm fine. Sukakiba is uh <laughs> is nothing. Hey. Dancing Bunny asked you to come here. It was the press professor who told you to do it. Tell me who sent you and I'll hook you up with some ramen. Hey. Can tell me did a professor send you? The professor turned down the job. Turned it down? Why? After all the awful, other awful requests he filled. Mm. Professor's picky. Maybe he just takes the jobs that sound good to him or something. He doesn't reach out to every poster. Just leaving offers for work staying there on the table. Mm. Skim through to reject requests for potential gigs. First one for some serious dough. Crazy the professor left this one hanging. How much are you getting paid to a solid teenage girl? A million? That was their first offer, too. Professor turned that down. What is it that drives the professor accept certain requests? I'll find out. We don't get told shit. Including the professor's identity. I don't know. Think of the Robin before you answer, dude. Coco's the only one in direct contact with the professor. It's got Coco wrapped around his finger, then the professor has to be one serious player. Mm. Does he really not know who the professor is? Sagakiba is a simple man. Can't imagine this hungry Sagakiba lying to me with a carte blanc ramen visit on the line. When do you want to do it? Uh. I guess I'll visit you in jail. Oh no 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 Uh oh. Someone please! Run! <laughs> oh, Kamikado. Why? What the fuck are you doing? Huh? Uh. Ugh. Kamikado sensei, what are you doing here? How's wrong? You. 
Oh, you made the request in the first place, right? Huh? Kamikaru Sensei was dancing bunny? Was cancelled. I can't stand the thought of n not be. I see. Weird. <laughs> Ain't backing out of this deal. What do we do? Get the fuck out. There's probably more security at the entrance. <laughs> Hopefully. Time to explain what just happened, dude. Sorry. So sorry, I'll tell you everything. <laughs> So it's supposed to be part of our routine. Scrapped the idea, but it appears word wasn't spread efficiently enough. It looked pretty... Why won't you just tell the truth that you were being targeted? <laughs> These are nationals after all. Have to step your game up if you want to win. <sighs> they finally backed off. They're op okay, I see. Because you didn't want them to be, like, cancelled for safety or anything. Excuse me. You're dancing bunny that put a hit off on Norizuki-san. Yes. Tell us everything. I'm... I used to be a Nappy super fan. Norizuki-san's nickname in Twinkles. And she was an idol. Yes. What? Was it? I think I remember. Ah. That's right. You're a regular at our shows. You're... Komechi-san. Yes. Echi. Um... So you recognize him. Yes. A fan of ours. I remember him seeing at a bunch of promo events, like meet and greets. If you were this big of a fan, why did you want her to get hurt? I felt betrayed. <laughs> I've always supported Nappy and Twinkles, and... And then Nopi said, I don't want to keep dancing, just cute she dances and I'm retired. Nopi. But I loved her dances. She was my Twinkle superstar and she just threw it all away like it was nothing. Ugh. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Hear what's wrong with the idol industry. <laughs> In other words... You're saying you did it because you felt betrayed. Told you about my broken heart. Well, that was from Nuppy. Might have been one-sided, but I was in love. You're the one who helped me get through so many tough times. I was just venting. I didn't think it actually happened, so... As the dance stream got closer, I got more and more scared. Got this parasocial, parasocial shit out of my face. I never wanted anything bad to happen to Nuppy. Why would you make the request, though, you dumbass? Love her so much for so long now. Dancing Bunny is Nishizono's username, though. How do you get access to her account? I caught. I hate that laugh. I caught Nishizono on her phone in class one morning, so I compensated it for the day. Professor's site was up on her screen, so I memorized the username and URL before putting her phone away. First day was her password, so getting her to her account was. Wasn't all that- well, wasn't all that hard. Yeah, you need a more secure password than that, girl. I see. Alright, I'll take care of some of my questions. Should we call the police now? Hmm. Excuse me. Just a moment. Hmm? You think you could reconsider turning him in? Are you serious? I thought I made the right decision to walk away from Twinkle so I could dance my own dance. It never crossed my mind that I'd done it in a way that might have hurt the people who cared so much about me. I don't but feel responsible for what happened, at least partially. It's not right to make him suffer forever over it, but also, uh... <laughs> it's kind of a, a dumbass and also an asshole about it, but... Hmm. Are you sure about this? If we just let him go, he can end up changing his mind later and we couldn't stop him. 
I don't think I could bear seeing Komechi-san with a criminal criminal record over this. <laughs> Thanks to fans like him, I was able to get through my own tough times. It's so stupid. I could I ever wish to harm uh, more harm to befall this perfect angel? You're gonna promise me right now you are never going to go anywhere near her again. Get lost. And you're resigning from Sario too, effective immediately. Given Norizuki has to live with, but I couldn't live with the idea of you going back to a high school. Yes. Go back home. I have a family up north. You're not getting a second chance with this. Got that? Yes. Out of my sight. Saki's high is up first. Alright. What was that up there? Some kind of shell? Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> So I need to do with like, that request you asked me about a bit. Mm, so you're able to protect Norizuki-san. Yeah. Finally ready to start. This guy. After that bit of unexpected entertainment, it's bit time for the biggest high school dance competition across Japan. Have the seed school led by Yuri no Norizuki, Misaki's high is a Milky Way. Damn. Norizuki's crew is on another level entirely. Look at her face, you can't even tell that she was almost jumped by an actual gang in the last half hour. Incredible. I'm at a loss for words. Not even better since that video they posted. Freaking out a little, are we? No, we're fine. Get on stage and you know what we're gonna do? Dance like nobody's watching. Girls look cute. Guys. Listen, Rabbit, you're gonna do great out there. The thing you've worked f so hard for, this is when you bring it home. I need to adjust my sitting position. Ow! Hey. Still freaking out a little, even after that, huh? Hmm. We just watched him do a perfect routine. Put your ace up your sleeve. I know your rabbits have a secret weapon that can beat even a perfect routine. That's right. Do you have a secret weapon? Now you're getting it. So let me just say this last time. Nobody's watching. Yeah. Yeah. Huddle up. Smile. Spirit spunk. Go. Oops, step rabbits. Oh, uh... <laughs> Woo! It's time to be a proud dad. <laughs> Got the energy!
Okay, I think that was a little bit better than my practice, at least. My hand isn't cramping, at least. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the fucking face. Oh my god. <laughs> Expression on his face just then was, uh... Unusual. Respectable. Respectable. It wasn't exactly flattering for Yagami. <laughs> and now, presenting the Dance Jam Grand Prize! Are you ready? Cause here... <laughs> Elder Man Banner of Vimes, yeah. <laughs> the champions of the National High School Jam are... Looks like he's enjoying himself a bit too much. <laughs> No. <laughs> Wait for it. No, just tell us. No. Just say it already, you bastard. The Serio High <laughs> Wait, what? No way. Really? We actually did it. Yeah, boy. Stage. Yeah, boy. So you managed to help the rabbits win nationals, all while investigating them undercover. You really outdid yourself, Yagami-san. They got where they are because they put in the effort. Not to mention, they genuinely enjoy this. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you enjoyed coaching them. Yeah, I won't deny that. It sure was an experience. I never figured extracurricular <laughs> activities could actually be enjoyable. Oh? Could it be that you're finally getting an adolescent experience you missed out on the first time? Aww. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. If that's the case, it's been a long time coming. It's only like, what, 40 or something? Paid off. I can't believe we actually won first place. Isn't that amazing? I mean, we of all people beat Yuri and Narizuki and Misaki High. Totally unreal. Yagami san, thank you so much for everything. Your coaching's what brought us to where we are now. Everyone, let's show our gratitude. Thank you so much. Yagami is single-handedly making all the extracurricular clubs at his school champions. And despite the challenges, you never gave up. It's your passion that pulled each one of you through. That's why you're taking home the prize you deserve. Oh, Norizuki. I hope I'm not interrupting. Oh, Norizuki-san, Nishizono-san, and the rest of the Seiryo rabbits. I concede defeat. Congratulations. Congratulations. No, no. School principal's gonna take all the credit. Yeah, pretty much. Especially since Yagami isn't like. Really? Especially since Yagami is isn't probably isn't like a proper employee. He's probably more like a. I don't know. If he's being paid for this. We won't be losing again. Next time, we'll make today's routine look like amateur hour. I think Yagami is just a volunteer in this case. In that case, see you at the next meet. Nice rivalry. I'm already a god, though. <laughs> Don't need to up my teamwork anymore. Girls! Thank you very much. Thank you for looking into the dance club, Yagami-san. Efforts have brought that much- brought us that much closer to the professor. We should go over everything we've learned so far. Yes. Professor declined Dancing Bunny's request for some unknown reason. He's not hopping on any criminal request that might come his way. Anything, any way we can deduce Professor's motive so far. Too early, although we can't exclude monetary gain as a potential reason. Turning down a, down a million yen offer makes that one pretty clear. Million yen is like 10k USD, so. It's not money he's after, what it could possibly be. 
connections or like people's like very specific skill sets maybe he wants to turn them to the dark side there's something to it i doubt he's just selecting jobs at random so many unanswered questions Rester's ring the lives of once decent kids. We're gonna do everything we can to stop him. And we're seeing on the case. School diary. So like, who has he been actually been targeting? In the dance club, he targeted um the sugar baby. Robotics club. We're not sure who he's targeting, but he's probably helping with the beef bot. Boxing gym. If he's targeting. I'm not quite sure what the bark boxing gem. He's targeting Kenya then. I'm not sure. It could be like based on their very specific skill sets, maybe. Tiger Reef Club, he targeted the Senpai. Skaters, he targeted the artist guy. Esports Club, he targeted the uh, main the main guy so he can cheat he had nothing to do with the casino side case and we're not sure about the girls bar just yet so maybe he's just like targeting people based on like their very specific skill sets so like they owe him like a uh, basically so they owe him a, a favor or something among that lines let me do that dastardly detective side case again uh keyword noise Think the stuff your boss says is noise, ignore it. Maybe they're adding a dittering noise to reduce the distortion. Even the dogs here are acting up, they must hate the noise. There's no more noise on the phone. Coincidence. Picks up tons of noise when I pass by here. God, I'm glad I can actually read read this now. <laughs> here we go. Oh, and the uh, manhole? Signal coming from the manhole. Oh, secret underground society? Email? Oh. Huh? Whoa, lady. From the pit of despair. Why are you stalking me? What? Come again? Are you not. I'm a detective named Yagami. A detective? I've been going around town hunting down wire traps by tra tracking their signals. You know you're giving off one right now. What are you doing down there? By the way. Mentioned stalking. Is someone thing wrong? This guy's been following me since yesterday. No matter where I run or how long, he keeps showing up. You wanna find me in the sewer? Huh. In your nice clothes? In your nice sweater? I think you've been bugged. My guess is it's hidden somewhere on you. Probably why your stalker always finds you. I'm bugged, but where? Let's find out. Find a source. And your cleavage? No. Do you have anything in your pocket? My pocket? Your phone? Yeah, her phone's been bugged. Her phone appears to be bugged. In fact, I'm certain. I had no idea. I had to disassemble the phone to get one in it. Think of any time where that would have been possible. I took it in the other day when the battery started messing up. Are you telling me that man from the repair shop did it? It's quite possible. Damn it. I can't believe this. Screw this thing into the yep into the canal. Uh, you sure that was wise? Can you buy a new one? Buy another one. Just what the water cycle needs? Cell phones. Could have gotten rid of it properly, I guess. Hmm? What's he doing? Harry Chan, I'll follow you to the depths of the sea if I have to. Oh, dumbass. <laughs> he jumped right in. Guess he thought you fell in the river? I forgot I can't swim. 
Off he goes like the rest of the trash in the water. <laughs> I'm safe now. Should probably call someone to save him. <laughs> I suppose so. Have any trouble like this again, please re reach out to me. I can refer you to a great lawyer. That was a quick one. <laughs> that was gonna be a little longer. <laughs> oh, you're still Mardo. There we go. Yes? What is that? Ramen bowl. Why is there one out here? Ordered it to go and left the bowl here for someone at the ramen shop to pick back up. Legs attached to the bottom. Did someone at the ramen shop plant this? Hmm? Can I help you? Yep. Actually... Your ramen's bugged. Bowl is bugged, how strange. Strange. Our president. Hmm. He was a target, but why bug ramen? So busy, he usually works through lunch. Having some sort of meeting while eating, perhaps one of our competitors is spying on him. Certainly get a ramen bowl inside an office without any questions being raised. I'll get picked up later, the evidence is taken away without a fuss. Someone at the ramen shop is behind us. Crop detective in town and he's behind most of these recent bugging incidents. Slip into the shop as a part-timer or something. Keep an eye out on the staff for a while, somewhere out of sight. Is this our guy? It depends. He's not in uniform. He probably isn't going back to work after this. Looks to be mid 30s. Height around 80 180 centimeters. Certainly fits everything I've known so far about the detective. Finally about to catch the guy. Probably headed back to wherever he's hiding out. Okay, tailing mission. Hey, you're gonna. Okay, you're gonna give me that. Shit. What's on the menu today? Oh no, he's actually coming back towards me. That's not good. <laughs> Wait, where did he go? Where did he go? Okay, there he is. <laughs> please, have object permeance, please. <laughs> Just because he disappears by a pillar doesn't mean I've lost him. <laughs> um, just in here? Okay, tailing complete. He's taking a smoke. Smoke break. He's not headed for his hideout after all. Seems like he's going anywhere on anytime soon, though. Time to shift into air to the interrogation mode. Excuse me. Hey there. Work at a barman shop, right? Detective name is Yagami. Detective, I've been waiting for you. Good to finally meet you, so can I get that hundredth- Oh. <laughs> You're waiting for the other detective. Think he's mistaking me for the corrupt detective. Guess that we're planning to meet up here. This ramen slinger is not my guy. He's an accomplice. Or a hired hand. Oops. Finally meet me, though. He must not know what the detective looks like, either. Hmm? Now's no good. Payment will come later. Who are you? Your worst nightmare. <laughs> that detective knows what's going on. Is he watching us right now? Yep. 
Whoa, the hell? That's how this Lotus Detective will go, huh? See, uh, what I want to be, uh. You're telling me you haven't met up with him either. You better not lie to me. I won't, I won't. I swear I don't know the guy. All the jobs I get, I get are through email. Punch him. No. Guess you're just letting him go. Detective is pretty damn careful covering his tracks. So close this time. Really a step from seeing him in person. Guess I just have to get back to the signal hunt. Keyword updated? No? I still can't finish this set of side cases, huh? Hmm. 